This is a question about the confidence interval for proportion. We have a sample size of 100. Of those, 34 people say they are not satisfied with the local council services. So that makes a sample proportion P of 0.34. We are after the true proportion of people who are not satisfied and we shall label that pi. That is unknown and for this we want a confidence interval. In order to proceed, we need to understand what the distribution of this sample proportion is. And we know that approximately that sample proportion is normally distributed with mean being the true proportion, unknown, and the variance calculated as it is stated here, pi times 1 minus pi divided by n. Now this approximation works if n times pi times 1 minus pi is sufficiently large. Sometimes you can read a number of 9, but it's not really important at this stage. So it turns out, of course, that variance is unknown because that relies on the pi. So we need an estimate for that, and we use our sample proportion estimate and get a uh, variance for p, and we just replace the pi with the p. And what we get as sp squared is 0 0.0022, and the square root of that is 0 0.0474. So that's the standard deviation of our sample proportion. That is the information we'll eventually need in the uh, calculation of our confidence interval. We are after confidence interval for pi, the unknown true proportion, and we are after 99% confidence interval. The interval is going to be centered around the sample proportion p and we subtract and add the same uh, term and that term is a product of a value from the normal distribution. Here the value that cuts off half a percentage point in each tail 2.575 and the standard deviation of p which we previously calculated to have this value. Plugging in all these values we get our confidence interval, there's a 99% probability that the unknown population proportion is between about 21% and 47%.